What is happening guys? Mike here, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna be taking a look at another barber owned brand. We actually got a pomade, a clay, and a beard oil to look at today. An entire styling system here, and I'm gonna tell you right now, one of these products has some serious daily driver potential. All right, once again, welcome back to the channel. A big happy 4th of July to all of you in the US today. I hope you're enjoying this day and everything that comes along with it. And I appreciate you guys taking the time to tune into the channel today and check out these new products with me. Before we get started though, I am taking a quick break from the subscriber spotlight to talk to you a little bit about Trendy Butler who actually supplied today's wardrobe for me in what was actually June's box. As of right now, Trendy Butler is the only fashion subscription service that I am working with actively, that is every single month, because either the other ones that have contacted me or that I've featured in the past haven't met my expectations fully, so I've decided to just strictly work with them for right now. And again, they don't pay me anything, I just get the clothes and then I tell you what I think pretty much. Last month again was a pretty cool box. They sent me not only one, but two awesome shirts that I think look good not only on their own, but together. Now their service is already affordable, but I do have a coupon code for you guys, the subscribers, to use and save a little more money on your first box, and that will be in the description along with a link to the Trendy Butler site. I highly recommend you check them out, and a big thanks again to Trendy Butler for another awesome box. Moving on though to our focus for today's video, we're talking about Kingpin Grooming Company, and as I've said in the past, I really love working with these types of brands, brands that are owned by Barbers. This line is owned by Barber Stephen Bertram out of Nashville, Tennessee, and the reason I always enjoy reviewing these kinds of products is because I really feel like barbers like Stephen make unique products because they always seem to bring a little more insight from their trade to the table and into their products because they are making products for the people they serve and the issues that they see in their barber chairs. In my mind, they really just bring a different perspective to their products because they're trying to make products that work better for their clients. And for me, that's always cool to check out. Today, we do have a very interesting set of products to look at, and hopefully by the end, you will have a firm knowledge on what they're all about. Here we go. Coming across my desk today is the custom-made product line from the Kingpin Barber Company. According to the brand, our first product, the Satin Wax Pomade, is a water-soluble, stronghold, flexible pomade that is designed to provide classic looks without feeling greasy. It's also said to be designed to get damaged hair back on track with nourishing and healthy ingredients and to be good for all hair types. Scent-wise, we're looking at the Kingpin Signature Scent, which consists of citrus, floral notes, and spice. It also comes in a slightly larger than usual size of 4.4 ounces and a price tag of $18 US. The brand also offers a 2.2 ounce size for $11 US. Looking inside the jar, we get our first look at this pomade. At first glance, we can see that it has a very smooth appearance to it, and scooping it out shows us how smooth it really is. This really is some of the smoothest stuff we have seen lately that isn't really liquid-like in consistency. It's got a definite lotion-like quality to it, but with a certain thickness that remains, giving us a nice foundation coming out of the jar. Next up is the Matte Clay Pomade. Again, according to the brand, the Matte Clay Pomade is designed to be an everyday go-to pomade. It features what the brand calls superior hold, flexibility, and of course, a matte finish. This product also offers versatile styling options and the same signature kingpin scent as its partner that we just discussed. This too is offered in both sizes of 4.4 ounces for $18 US and 2.2 ounces for $11 US. Looking inside this jar now, we see a fairly typical clay pomade. It's got a very familiar gray color to it and taking a scoop out we can see is slightly thin thick but creamy, and breaking it down in the hand we get that sort of familiar clay feeling that we see in a lot of products like this. But here I also get a sense of the slickness coming from the oils residing in the formula.
we are starting the demos today with the satin wax pomade. I didn't have time to actually film a dry and damp hair demo for today's video, so I decided to do this one with damp hair and the other one with dry hair so we could at least see both. Adding this product into my hair is very easy. There's no tug or pull. Right away though, it does have a kind of oiliness to it that kind of takes over. And I think that's kind of exaggerated by the damp hair. In dry hair, it is still present, but the dry hair actually helps give it a bit more stability than I think you get with damp hair. Either way though, styling here is pretty straightforward. I added in a couple scoops and I started combing. And I was very glad to see that the product does allow for some pretty solid volume, even on damp hair. This was something that I really appreciated and definitely used to my advantage when going after my final style. Now for me, I think styling with this one on dry hair was a little better, but I know a lot of you like to style on damp, so again, I was just trying to reach every avenue I could in this review. In products like this though, that do introduce that large amount of that dampening, nourishing effect, for me, it really does perform better when dry hair is used to combat that incoming oily effect that the product introduces. That's kind of my thought process behind that. I think it just kind of works a little better to even each other out. I did, of course, though, test the endurance on that style for you guys to check out. So let's get a look at that. At the four hour mark, we can see that the hair has dried out and hold wise, it held up pretty well. That sheen though is still very present as you can see here as well. And at the eight hour mark, we can see that that finish is pretty much the same. And really the only difference here is just some slight lifting in the hold there on the sides. But as usual, we are given the chance to see how it restyles. And really I have no complaints there. For eight hours in the hair, it still combs through very nicely and seems to still have some hold to offer in reshaping and continuing on. I will of course be giving you guys my final thoughts on this one at the end of the video. But before that, we do need to go ahead and demo this clay real quick. For this demo, we need dry hair. I don't see at all a real point in using clays like this in damp hair because you're just missing the great things clays have to offer by doing that. I'm adding in about two scoops here initially and we can see that the product provides a pretty decent amount of shine, which is not totally unheard of in clay pomades, but it is really important to mention here. If we look past that though, I'd have to say it's styling quite well. My hair feels very soft and while it's not very sticky at all, it's still got some control there and it feels like it's almost styling itself really. I really feel like this one here was a very nice styler but initially that shine bothered me to be honest with you. Luckily though it did lift and we can see that here in the endurance test. At the four hour mark there you have it. The shine has lifted a lot. And while I'm not sure in my hair this really qualifies as a matte finish per se, we can definitely make the conclusion that it's a lot better now than it was when we first styled. And at the eight hour mark, the finish is about the same. And the only thing really we can see here is that's different is a little bit of lifting there on the sides. Now there is one more thing I need to show you guys regarding this clay. On the Kingpin side, it does say this clay is capable of being used as a pre-styler. And so of course I, couldn't ignore that. Here's actually a look at my hair after one small scoop in damp hair and then blow drying all the way. You can see here we have a pretty good result. Less shine than before, some volume, texture, and we're set up for an easy but cool looking style. And with one more little scoop of the clay, we can finish this thing off on a strong foot. Now, I also think that this product works excellent using the Lockhart's method. And if you don't know what I'm talking about there, you need to go back and look at that video. It's a very effective styling method. So go check that out. But for now, let's chat about these beard oils real quick. We just did a video on beard oil, so I'm not going to rehash all that info. But based on what we know about beard oils from that video, the most important piece of info that we can explore here is what oils are being used. Now, these two are the exact same. Just one is scented and the other one is not, which is an option that actually I find very considerate, being as I'm allergic to a lot of scents. Oddly enough, I'm not actually allergic to this scent, but but I do think it's a cool gesture nonetheless. Inside these beard oils, we have jojoba oil, organic argan oil, organic coconut oil, flaxseed oil, safflower oil, 
grapeseed, and vitamin E, all of which are amazing for the skin, beard, and like we talked about in the other video, the hair and scalp as well. I have to say, I think this is a really killer blend of oils and really it's just like a blanket of nourishment over whatever it touches. You can feel it in your beard, your face, and even your hands after you're done applying it too. Using just a couple drops, I'm able to hydrate everything and get it looking fresh while putting nutrients back into my skin. All right, so I think that finally does it on all the products and the demos. I know we're going a little bit long today, but stick with me, roll with me on it. Let's finish this thing up with some final thoughts. The washout on both these products here was very similar for me. For the pomade, a lot of the product came out with water, but what I found was that the shine from the oils would just stick around. It kind of needed a good shampoo to pull it out. Same goes for the clay, actually. The water did a great job of just breaking it up in the hair, but some of it still kind of hung around. So a good heavy shampoo was needed to just pull it straight out. Now, the the scent here actually is very nice and fresh. I think that they did a great job of mixing it. It's really not overbearing at all. And surprisingly, even though it has some floral notes in there, I think it's mixed so well that it really doesn't aggravate my allergies, which is something that I actually really like. It's not often that this happens, but I've been having some good luck lately with scents. So really no complaints there on that. I do though have a few pieces of criticism for these two products. They're really not huge deals, but I still got to report what I see here. And for the pomade, the only thing I found was it did make the hair a little bit oily for my liking. The clay was a bit similar actually, although it did lighten up a ton, but just using it alone, I think it did have a bit of those oils standing out. Pre-styling though is a different story with the clay. This one is a killer pre-styler and I'm confident that it would work very easily with other products. So for that reason, I have to say that the clay has some serious daily driver potential. Also, I do think both products will work for people with thin or thick hair, especially thin hair with the clay. I think you guys will really enjoy it. If you do rely on hold though, Mm, that might be an issue, but you guys know your hair better than anyone. So as usual, I'll leave it up to you guys to take the info I've presented here and use it to form your own conclusions. If you would like to check out any of the products featured today, links will be in the description for you guys to check out. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you tap on that like button for me. And if you haven't already subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that button for me and make sure you share the channel with your friends. And that brings this episode to a close for today. Once again, I want to wish you guys a happy fourth and a safe one at that. I'll be back to you guys again very soon. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.